I'm so jealous watching... of you. You've seen Prometheus. I've seen a lot too, but you've seen Prometheus, so. Yeah. Well, you'll be seeing it Friday, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I'll see it Friday, but I mean, mm-hmm. it, it, that. I mean, I have to say, of all, I mean, there are, there are a couple of um, really cool movies before The Dark Knight Rises, but I would say Prometheus may be the, the most high profile movie. Uh-huh. Well, all right, I take that back. Savage is in The Amazing Spider-Man, but Prometheus is definitely up there, like, just, like, in, like, the curiosity factor is just um, overwhelming. Yeah, Prometheus was on my, you know, probably my five must-see of the year. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. People in France have seen it. It's been open in foreign markets. Well, they're lucky. I mean, everyone's lucky these days. Us Americans are ranking pretty low on the totem pole lately. Yeah, but uh, Prometheus, um, man, such a visionary movie, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm glad that Ridley Scott returned to sci-fi, and I can't wait to see what he does with the continuation of Blade Runner too, because the purely imaginative mm-hmm. visual design of this movie, I mean, just down to every prop and and costume, not to mention the worlds that they create, mm-hmm. uh, it's just jaw-dropping. I mean that that really took me uh, okay, took hold of me more than anything. That's awesome. That's great to hear. That, that's what we expect. I mean, kind of uh, what we've got, but it's and the and the effects are um, outstanding. In that, you know, I I don't know. I can guess which ones are digital. Obviously, the the planets and all of that kind of stuff are digitized. But in terms of creature effects, mm-hmm. uh, it all looks so practical. Uh, and all the oozing effects and that kind of thing, it, it, it's uh, phenomenal work. So on a technical level, it's its brilliant. Mm-hmm. Although I don't necessarily uh, think that he utilized 3D as well as he could have. That's um, what I'm hearing. Um, that seems to be a common theme um, among in the reviews. Which surprised me from, mm-hmm. from his for you know, a visual director like him and his mm-hmm. first foray into 3D technology. But, I mean, he doesn't utilize the depth as much as he could. I'm not right. talking about gimmicks, but, I mean, the thing that makes 3D, when it works, when it makes it so immersive, it's because of that depth that you feel. Uh, and it, this movie might as well have been in 2D. I mean, it generally looks 2D for most of the movie, even when okay. you're wearing the glasses. Um, and in terms of story, it's very ambitious. I would say, you know, you look at Ridley Scott's two other f- forays into sci-fi, mm-hmm. uh, and those are great classics right. uh, with Alien and Blade Runner. I would say that this is an amalgam of both of those because it has the kind of the o- ooziness and uh, moments of great intensity like Alien. Mm-hmm. Um, but on the other hand, it's very existential, like Blade Runner. Okay. It's very much who who are we? What makes us human? Where did the human race go wrong? Blah blah blah. And that's the section of the story uh, which isn't um, entirely successful. It's not. Oh, okay. It's not developed quite as well as it should be. Um, you know, I think all, especially in the in the subtext of. Faith and how faith comes into play. Uh, Nomi Rapace has uh, uh, is a woman of faith, and I don't think that I think that that's just paid lip service to. Okay. Uh, and that could have been an interesting development in the script had they delved further into it. Okay. And that cold dichotomy between you know being a, a scientist and and having faith and what she's faced with and how that might challenge her faith. Um, I mean they they wanted it they wanted the story somewhat to represent that that subplot, mm-hmm. but it just didn't feel very developed. Yeah, when I asked you a question, though, you said something, you said creature. Okay, so that's an interesting word that you use because that's something we haven't, you know, at least in the trailer, we don't, so there are creatures in this. Well, I mean, there there, there are, there are sp- space beings, and I, you know, I don't think I'm giving away any. Space. No, no, you're not. You're not. I mean, it's what we. That's what a lot of people. I mean, that's what people. I think everyone from that last trailer or the international trailer, everyone's expecting it. So I mean, yeah, it, it was. A, it's a very good choice of words, though, creature. I mean, they're, they're traveling up there to find something, mm-hmm. and they're not going to spend two hours of a movie and not find anything. <laughs> no, no, I agree. I know. I'm, no, no. I'm... Uh, obviously, they find something, and the the effects are very good. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I think it might be a little too uh, – what's the word for it? Maybe a little too artsy-fartsy, hoity-toity mm-hmm. for mainstream audiences probably right, past, okay. past that first week. Uh, but it does end on a note that uh, would make any kind of alien fan really excited, I think. I mean, it's the kind of movie that feels very overwhelming as you watch it, and uh, and upon reflection, um, you start to delve into the meaning of it. And, and honestly, I mean, some of it I, I don't quite understand at first viewing. So it is a movie I'll be going back to. And maybe right, I'm okay. not. Maybe it's all there, and I just didn't absorb it all. Uh, no, I that's felt like think, yeah. these, That's just the impression I'm under. I mean, just reading some of the reviews, it does sound like something you have to go back and watch again on, because there's a lot to to look at and grasp. But per- performance-wise, Mac- Michael Fassbender is great. That seems to be the that seems to be the as far as the human performances go. That seems to be the the irony is the guy playing a robot is the most human person yeah. in the film. He's very graceful physicality to him. I mean, he's he's wonderful in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, very very friendly and menacing all at the same time. Okay. <laughs> It's it's uh, you know it's obviously well worth watching. Any of oh, yeah, these guys yeah. is, mm-hmm. and it does have ties to Alien. I mean, I can understand they're trying to they're trying to walk a tightrope here because they know that it has ties to Alien, but it's it's not Alien. I mean, it's a completely different experience. So mm-hmm. they don't want to sell it as a sequel prequel of Alien. Right. Um. But they they definitely want to sell the fact that it has ties to Alien. Mm-hmm. I think Ridley Scott was smart the way he described it by saying that you know we took some initial inspirations from Alien, and uh, we found that we were going off in our own exciting direction that mm-hmm. was unexpected to us. So uh, 